Okay, this is a PSA for all you people out there who really like to go overboard with their presentations and make them as crazy and elaborate as possible. So there's this tool by the guys at Suckless called Scent. And if you can't tell by the subtitle right here, Scent is a simple plain text presentation tool. Nothing more than that. And basically, the, re the reason this ex really exists in the first place is because people you know, think they should use all the tools at their disposal to, you know, make these elaborate, you know, flashy presentations, when in reality they should just focus on the content of the presentation and not and focus less more on the slides themselves. And that's what this is here to remedy. Um, it's a very simple program, only around a thousand lines of code, which is very surprising, at least to me. Um, but there's, they have a list of, like, non-features that they have, like, of course, they support UTF-8. Who wouldn't? Um, but there's no bold italics. There's, there's no fancy layouts. No, you know, animations. Nothing like that. Just a simple presentation. Nothing more. And it's it's really like I said to focus more on the co what you're presenting itself rather than you know relying on your slides to carry you. So if you want to actually install Scent. Um, you only need a few dependencies, uh, xlib and xft, which you probably should have on your computer. But if you want to use images, uh, you have to use Farbeld or Farbfeld. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Farbfeld, I think. Um, and that's another set of tools by Suckless. For it's basically their own custom image format, which I which I think works really nice. But and they use this for sense because it's easy to work with and manip manipulate. Um, but if you want to download it, you can go ahead and get clone sent and uh, just run sudo make install and it'll install it. But I have a copy on my computer, open a terminal, and I'm going to cd into sent. And just like any suckless project, they have a config dot h file where you configure where you configure the entire program and then once you configured it you compile it and that configuration is built into the program itself and doesn't change until you recompile it so you can actually see the reason down here why um far uh far bell is required because internally it turns all jpegs and pngs into far images or far <laughs> I can't tell if I'm pronouncing it right. If you're in the comments, please correct me. I don't know what it is. But uh, Farbfeld, um, it converts it to Farbfeld images and then uses that internally. But that's the config file. Um, and of course, if you install it, you can run sudo make install. And it'll install it. But I already have it installed in my, machi my machine right here. Oh, send. Or send. But uh, I'm going to take a look at the example file that they give. And this is an example presentation. So as you can see, the first, each slide is separated by um, an empty an empty line, sort of. Each slide is a paragraph. And so this right here is a slide. These two lines right here are a slide. These four lines right here are a slide, and so on and so forth. Um, and I might elaborate on this later, but... Um, of course, you can comment out slides by having a, a pound sign in front of it. Um, it supports Unicode characters, or UTF-8. If you have an at sign, um, anything after the at sign will be treated as the location of an image you want to display. So in this case, it's nyan.png, which is a picture of nyancat. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you um, the presentation. So I'm going to run sent example and there's our title slide set um, and you can you can go forward in the presentation just by pressing space if you want to go back you can press back arrow keys and it's also I think supports VIN keys yeah it does so you can use H and L to go back and forth forward and backwards and you can see we have our slides they're sent here I should probably move my camera um, Origin, UI, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, here's our image. Uh, easy to use. And there are some Unicode characters. 
some other things as well. A blank slide. Um, uh, transparent images. Ooh, more Unicode characters. And that's really the presentation. So perhaps I should go over. <laughs> should go over some of the things in the example file. So like I said, um, at symbols to display images. Um, it supports Unicode characters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Pound symbol is for comments that you want, um, just in your text file, not actually displayed in your presentation. Um, uh, a yeah, a backslash actually um, should produce a blank slide if I'm if I'm correct. It can also, for example, if you want to display an at symbol at the beginning of, beginning of a line. You can actually have a backslash or a pound, or a pound side even right here. If you put a backslash before it, it will cancel out any special special meaning on it, and will just display an at symbol or a pound sign. And that's really all there is to sense. I mean, I mean there are patches for it. For example, I have a patch installed on mine. Where if I press I, it will go ahead and invert the colors. That's really it. But <laughs> there's not actually that many patches for it, but that's there's so much functionality you can build into this, but it's it's still great. Um, one other thing that Scent can do that I actually haven't seen um, used that much is um, the ability to pipe information into Scent. So, as an example, I have a bunch of video thumbnails in a folder. And I can locate them by typing in locate. Uh, pictures, thumbnails, and as you can see, there's location of my all my thumbnails for my videos. You've probably seen them before, <laughs> but I want to go ahead and get only just the PNGs. So I'm going to go ahead and grep dot PNG, and there we go. So I want to take all my PNGs and put them just into a presentation, nothing else. So I can run that, and I can pipe all the all the PNG files through sed, and I'm going to go ahead and substitute the beginning of the line. If you don't know regular expressions, this <laughs> if you don't know uh, how to use sed or regular expressions, it's fine. This is just ex me showing you an example on how you can use this. Uh, you can use this in your everyday um uh everyday life when it comes to you know uh presentations and other things. But anyways, I'm going to replace the beginning of the line with an at symbol. Uh, you said to do that, and we have that. And I'm going to go ahead and replace the end of the line um, with a new line. And this will make each image a paragraph, which will put each, Im each image on a slide. You can probably see where I'm going with this. And so now we can actually put this into a file, I'll just call it text. So now we have a file called text. If we go into it, we have all of our slides with uh, images. And we can run sent on that. There we go. And here is our presentation. I mean, that's nice and all, but what if I don't want to make a file? What if I just want to, you know, put all this information straight into sent? Well, you can watch this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the text file. And let's go back to that, these commands that we had. Uh, we can actually just pipe this straight into set. So you can actually, if you don't give sent a file to the you know, display presentation, you can just pipe the um, text straight into it. And it will work just like that as a presentation, which I find absolutely amazing. But if I run that, you can see that it's exactly the same. It's just that instead of creating a file and then reading from the file, we put all that inf information straight into sent, and it works off of that. And here's all my thumbnails from all my videos, or all my PNGs at least. Um, I can change it up and do JPEGs, but yeah, that's all my thumbnails. And that's really the power of using sent, is you're able to do all these things, pipe all this together, and it's way it's much greater and you can customize it and you know extend it in so many ways um versus you know things like LibreOffice, 
Microsoft Office, you know, all those other presentation programs. This one's definitely, you're able to build on it the most. And so that's sent. Uh, absolutely great program. I recommend that you at least give it a look. Um, or at least, <laughs> at least simplify your presentations, if not that. So that's really it.